¿Qué onda, mi gente? What's Gucci in the Gucci? You guys, I just got done getting the MRI done. No mames a la verga. Oh. You guys, mira, pinche greñuda. I did my MRI, you guys. Y no van a creer a la verga. The first time I did it, like, it didn't bother me. But this time that I did it, no me van a creer. Hold on. Okay. No van a creer, but um, when I was doing my MRI, I had to get an MRI done for my brain, my head. One MRI on my brain because I have a cyst in my brain. I've had it since 2019. But um, they sent me to a specialist because I've been having a lot of um, dolores de cabeza. Pero me pega. So I guess I have it on my left. I have it on my right side. But my pains that I get, I get it on my right side. Why is that happening? I don't fucking know. Pero, I was in the fucking machine the first 20 minutes. And I was getting kind of paranoid. Because if you guys ever had an MRI done before, um, you're in a little tube where you're like squished. And I'm a big girl, so I was squished in there and... Pues a mí se me hizo fácil to grab my hands, you know? To grab my hands and put my hands like this, but on my stomach. When I did that, Lord Jesus, I felt like they were shocking me. I felt like if I was getting shocked in my hands and it was going to my stomach, upwards. Why did I feel like that? The guy said it was because of my tattoo. Yeah, I <laughs> because of my tattoos. He goes, um, a lot of people who have tattoos that get an MRI done get that feeling like if they're getting shocked. And he's like, if it bothered you, why didn't you like? Because they do. They they dan una little cosita to squeeze it so they you get you know help. I'm like, whoa. He goes, it must have not have bothered you that much. And I'm like, no, I could take pain. Like, I literally could take pain. He goes, well, you should have said something. And I'm like, no, it's all right. I go, I just wanted to get this over with. And he's all like, but you were okay in there? And I'm all like, I felt kind of anxious, like, towards the end. But, me aguanté la verga. Yo dije, no, 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 no. I'm not going to let this beat me. I, me voy a aguantar. I only have a couple more minutes. So when I was in there, I was just thinking and thinking, like, I was thinking, but I was trying to relax at the same time. Um, but when you're in that tube, there's no way you can fucking relax your ears. I'm <laughs> like, oh my god, this noise! But it was like consistent, like like very consistent. Like, cambiaba uno, y luego cambiaba el otro, y luego regresaba para atrás al otro, and then you could feel your whole body just shaking, like. It was weird. It was weird. But I could just imagine when you die and they bury you. Can you imagine those people that that get buried alive? Like, I could just imagine how they feel. I felt like I was getting tort. Like, like if they were torturing me, like, oh, my God, worse, worse. I don't know, maybe because I'm getting older. I mean, that was only, like, what, two two years ago, back in 2019 when I had that done. I mean, maybe because you're so vieja. I don't know, pero me sentí bien anxious, like, so fucking anxious. Sentía que me, me iba a morir a la verga, you guys. <laughs> 
pero no me quiero morir. Mira, this side doesn't have canas and this side has canas. O sea, no mames. Um, no me quiero morir, you guys. I still have, I still have my Hennessy. I know Alexis and Aiden, ya yeah, están grandes or whatever. Pero todavía tengo mi little Hennessy and I know my Hennessy needs me. So yo tengo que luchar por él, you know. I need to get all this shit fixed. Um, hopefully, they, the guy said I'll get my results within two to three days. Hopefully, it's gone away. Hopefully, it's gotten smaller. Hopefully, it just, I don't know. Que solo, solo se vaya yendo esa madre because, you know, from cysts, they become tumorous. From tumors, they become cancerous. And, um, I honestly... Don't want to put my kids through that, um, just because they're they're my first priority. They're my first of everything, and I mean they look up to me. And o sea, yo no me quiero quedar con un pinche vegetable la verga. You know, sometimes they're able to save it, and sometimes they're able to just take it out. And I have a friend that had a tumor, and, you know, they operated her, and I see, I, she's, she's strong, you know, and if you're watching me, homegirl, you know who I'm talking about, I know I can't be mentioning names and stuff, but, um, you know who you are, and I am so happy for you that you're a strong woman, and your kids, I mean, they love you, your husband, and stuff, and, um, I mean, I've I seen the pain that she went through, and I don't want to go through that. I don't. So if I could, if they could, I don't know, put a shot or, like, just, I don't know. I don't even know why we even fucking get those. Like, what the hell? But whatever it is, ojalá que no sea algo tan grave o tan mal. Ojalá que sea algo de que se puede curar, you know? Y no me voy a morir a la verga, because I'm still not ready to die. I'm not ready to leave yet. <laughs> and not just that, I mean, I stopped thinking about it in, for so long. Like, I didn't want to think about that, but when I do get my headaches in my brain, like in my head, like I literally feel like there's something pulling this side. No, this side. Like if... They're pulling my eye back. Like, all of this right here, siento un pinche dolor a la verga. Que siento que...